Hey, can you guys see? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Tell me yes. Okay. Hey, okay, so let's kind of like review what's going on really quick because I know FOMC is coming up. There's some pullbacks, right? Okay, so here's some like smaller caps that we're looking at. Okay, so you can kind of see like a general idea. Like here's the small caps. That's the support I said. Hey, we're at support, so don't worry if you're in, right? MSTR has just been kind of like itching to break out. Space, you know, it's the growth. Mara is still like itching to break out here. Lucid, um, here, it's, done. I think it's like, it's going to slowly climb. And then biotech's Tilray is starting to like, gain traction like nothing really crashed okay just so you know like nothing's like crashing it's like okay did they pull back or not right so they're like people are just taking profits a little bit wait for it see this like first resistance here so 1980 is like a good area like hey right if it like goes back or maybe 19 like okay let's see a little bit underneath like right here it might pull back or like here right depends Depends. You will know, keep it here for now. Stay above that level. And then unity, like everything looks like, okay, on the verge of a breakout. So sometimes like you don't have to get everything. You just have to know like, hey, am I in the, like some of the right ones? JKS, this is energy, right? Okay, so here's that. And then spy, we hit Michael's target. I was saying max range would be 404. He was saying above 403, so it's kind of like we're, we're, we're stuck right there now. Spot, oh my god, this keeps going. So if you still have this, that's great. You know, some of the swings, swingers. <laughs> and then this is going to be reporting, right? Okay, NVIDIA, I, I just saw some order flow here. So NVIDIA, we're, let's go ticker by ticker now, some of them. So NVIDIA, like, look, the 200s are getting loaded, like, a lot of it so 200 to the 190 190 205 so maybe it's possible to go up to 205 but majority like hey it's gonna go 200 202 205 into that area and then before fomc look leaps are getting added right these january 24 january 24 so if you look at okay our institutions what kind of like leaps are they adding are they adding put protection or are they adding long calls right if they're adding put protect more put protection then we're going to expect volatility into fomc if we ex if we see more calls that means okay they're not even protecting it they're just going naked calls does this make sense okay let's see what they're saying for january 25 january 25 okay more calls, right? Very little put protection. Okay, so that's one good thing, right? Spy, same thing. Put protection. Usually spies like that though, because people, you don't get dividends off of spy. Calls, whatever, put protection. Like you don't get dividends off of spy. So when you're going long, spy is just a short term trade. Like why invest a hundred thousand dollars in spy when you can't even get dividends right okay so let's see what apple's gonna do meta all those right same thing here apple's the biggest mover for s p 500 right again less protection than last fomc do you guys remember last time it was heavy 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 put protection so i'm just wanting you to know like hey what's that what's possible tomorrow okay so january 25 this is like 50 50 now like one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Actually, a little bit like 40, 60. Uh, Microsoft. This is a little bit more 50, 52, but a little bit more call side. And then Meta, right? 
So meta, okay, definitely more bullish, right? So now we're like trying to see, okay, which one's more bullish versus, versus like, okay, maybe a little bit more volatility. So we want to go long on the ones that's going to be more bullish. Into earnings, straight calls, right? Straight up calls. Um, let's see what January 24 says. Okay, so January 24, this is protected. They're thinking, okay, maybe it might go down. That's actually like, okay, maybe go down. So meta, okay, this is too many, so I'm gonna filter higher, higher. This is too many too. I just wanna see where the institutions are gonna take, take everything. Okay, this is like, okay, this is kind of a lot. So there's still ex like intermarket sweep, sweeps, sweeps on puts. So they're expecting possible volatility, but the meta is only at like 150, right? So that means if we swing through meta, we might have to be careful. What's today? Mm, earnings. So I'm gonna look today after hours or tomorrow morning. So there's these ones. So I'm going to filter. I want the biggest move, right? There's Snapchat. We're still in long, right? Snapchat's still going up, like right here. It's It's been just like slowly climbing up, right? So this one looks relatively pretty good. Meta too. Meta's slowly going up, right? Okay, actually, no, it's just stable. Damn, Spotify. This is nuts. This is a really good signal, by the way. This is good for like TMUS because they're both in communications. Okay, so let's see how high they're going to take. For some people that are still swinging spot, if you still have it, I still have it on my other account a little bit. They're going to take this to 115, 112, 115, right? 112, 115. So you can tell instantly. 110, 112, 112. 135 long term. Wow, that's pretty high. This is really good signal. 135, like what wow. I didn't even see that. By the way, spot has a teeny teeny tiny float. This is like freaking bullish as hell. Like really bullish. So you can even go as high as 135. March. Spotify. So okay, so Apple ear this week. Mm, okay. So spot, I would just keep keep holding on to your position. And hold on, let me see if we should get 115 even. This because this keep going higher and I hate I have like FOMO. So <laughs> should we get the short term? Hmm. 114. 115. Only $2. $2. Okay, I'll get this. I'm gonna buy. I just bought the, I just bought the, one fifteen for this week because it's like continuing. Okay, I should post that. <laughs> I'm gonna post that. So since it's really strong, okay, spot just added one fifteen call for January, or sorry, February third continuation. Cost was like, I don't know, like $2, right? $2.10. Uh, okay, because they think it's going to go, like, keep going. So I just, yeah. Anyways. Okay, so NVIDIA, we saw, we, we saw, right, that it was, like, bullish. And they're trying to take it back to 200. This, like, 199 to 200 range. Mm, okay, let's see where Apple's going for this week. Apple. What's, what is that one in the corner? Okay, Tesla, Tesla, MSGM. You guys are still in this, right? Uh, Meta, Meta. Okay, so that one. Spotify, Shop, Apple, this thing. Okay, I want to see where all the money is going to right now. Um, okay, so I want to see, like, the bigger money order flow within the last, like, hour. Maybe, like, Mm, okay, so this is like trade time, like within the last, like, this is a bit like 15 minutes lag. 
And then look for bigger ones. Value above like 5 million. Okay, they already, that means they already loaded. But Tesla, they're adding a little bit. See the mega caps? They already loaded, so it's not even being added. No, Louie. No, Google, okay, Google, they're still, okay, they're still loading it. This is still being added. Oh, MS, financials. Okay, healthcare sector is going to rotate soon. Contingent. So I'm looking at contingent, right? If you look at the contingent, that means their shares purchased, look, shares purchased, derivative price, it's purchased with options. So when you look at this thing, when I post this and it's contingent, usually it's like one of the 250,000 orders. Okay, so see Wayfair? I was talking about this yesterday. Wayfair, they're, you know, someone was like, oh, like, uh, but it's already up. No, like yesterday when, what's it called? Whirlpool went up, means it's super bullish. Like Wayfair, RH, Williams Sonoma, watch this, like, start ripping. Even if it's up, there's like a lot more room to go. See these ones, mega, like, mega caps affected by. Yeah, those are affected too much by FOMC, so it's still like chop chop. 210, 210, 177. Okay, so they're going to carry this up into like 173, 177. Right? 173, where's Tesla right now? 170. Okay, so you can wait like till this line. They're trying to take it to um, like maybe two, three more points for Tesla. Nvidia is gonna go. Okay, this is like almost there, right? I really, I still have some nice snow. I, I like have snow forever. What's this one at? Are you guys still trading this? Okay, so at least that's like support seventeen eighty. Okay, I want to see where Snap's gonna go. Okay, let's see Snap. Snap ER, snap. And BA should go back to like 214, by the way. I still have my BA long. Look, snap right now, all long, right? 13, 13. And they're doing a bull put spread above 11. Yesterday, it was at 12, by the way. So now it's getting even higher. Okay, sold calls where? Where did they sell? At the 12? Okay, that's not a good sign. <laughs> They're selling at 14.50. Okay, so don't go too high out of the money, right? It can possibly go to 13. Let me see what they're doing. February 12th. Okay, so they're selling this, using this money, because it's more time to buy this. Does that make sense? And buy this, because they're expecting a pullback after but then a rip up into er so they're going to rip it into earnings and then it's going to pull back into fomc possibly that's what i'm seeing by the dates but then not higher than 14 50 so 13 should be able to hit call spread 11 yeah 13 50 should be able to hit this week but then expect a pullback going into mid-february right okay so 13 50 we'll say and then I'm going to confirm this with, with the option chain. The 13.50 for snap target for this week, possible pullback February 17th, right? So they're leveraging selling calls and buying the short term, but then just in case they got they shorted this one, right? 
they're selling they're, so this is a ratio spread they're selling and buying so they sell one of these and they buy two of these right does that make sense so these two is a ratio spread and this is a diagonal so the other one's this one with this is a diagonal okay so that one mm, so maybe we don't have to like swing so many through like if it continues to go towards like 12 plus into the end of the day, you can close some out and be a little protected. Uh, what else is going? MSGM. This looks like it's about to flip soon. Could be 1213. What else is really close? Earnings. AMD, right? Okay, actually, let's look at the options for, okay, what's it? AMD. Okay, so this is, I have to see what's going on with SPY. Okay, so this will be for, where is it? Oh, not you. We need snap. So here's 270 IV, right? You don't want to buy this week unless you already have it because it's up like 100%, isn't it? Yeah. No, or 20%, 20%. 70. Okay, let's see. Price. They are selling which ones? This one? 1250, 13. They're long here. Okay, by the way, what I just posted on this, right? What I was reading out was just today's orders, not the overall, like what they're holding. It's just today's orders. So if you want to look at what's like really here, then you could just. Okay, this is a good sign. At the money, there's a lot being added on the call side. At the money and just into out of the money. Like this is the range 21 delta to 40 delta is when we go out of the money, right? And there's 50,000 versus only 22,000. And this is just in case, like lottos. And they're all aiming into our same area, 1250, right? 1250, 14, okay, 1250 to 14. So at least, you know, okay, you have the right one, right? 30 cents, okay, price is 30 cents. They're buying just like bulks of it. A majority cost, but a little bit of protection on the put side, just in case. Does that make sense? But much more delta on the calls. So, okay, that's some confirmation. Then you look at the smallest IV. Okay. This one, the, this week, IV is too high. So I'm gonna look at a monthly IV to get the target and get, okay, this is the range, 34, which is the 1050. So 134 right here, 134%, 134% here, right? But it just flipped to 133, 133. This is just the narrow range. Where is it going, 134, 134, here, here, 134. Okay, so it's where, 134. 133, 133, right? 133 here, because call side's stronger versus the puts. So it's like we have, okay, so we have 10,000, 12,000, 22,000, around 28,000, 29, 30,000, right? And here we have like 35,000, 40,000, 50, 60, 65, 70, like way more, right? So so two to one right now, about like on open interest alone. And this looks like volume in versus volume out, except for this one. This is volume out, volume in, and these are holding, right? Volume in. These are also added, so just in case. 
So it's more bullish, but then you could get some protection and then maybe like scale out some. Let's just see what's going on SPY. Okay, SPY is Apple, Google. Okay, those are still bullish. So then AMD, right? Everyone's looking at A AMD. Hold on, what's it? AMD. This is a really good one too. EA, it's Electronic Arts. They're like a gaming company. So all these like crypto, like crypto and gamers and software and semiconductors, like EA is like one of those growth companies. If you don't know what they, they do, they just do gaming. Like, you know, like uh, all those games that we play. I wanna see which one has a bigger move. Wait, wait. $6. Okay, so six dollars for one hundred and twenty-eight versus okay AMD six dollars for this price, meaning maybe bigger move, right? I think Dana already called this out. It was like seventy-two bucks. We called this out yesterday. I didn't get it because I played spot and I have Nvidia. But if it goes six dollars from today's low, that's like what seventy seventy-two plus. So it's like 77, 78, right? 77 to 78. It's at the five gamma, right? Five right here. That's 107%. 107%. This is the one being shorted. See? So you can target the 78 because this is the one that's shorted. 70, 77%, 76. So now this is the one being shorted. <laughs> it like switches. All the way up here same 107 percent right 107 percent from 80 so i go for the lowest one and this is also at five gamma right five gamma and it's within the expected move so and then there's more open interest okay let's see which side is more bullish and i look at okay where is the money Where's the money at? So 14,000 here versus 17,000, right? Monetarily, it's almost relatively the same. 25K, 30K. Okay, this is more cash. There's more money in the call side versus the put side now. And then I just double confirm. Okay, obviously, 0.76 put to call ratio. So 84. So they're doing a little bit out of the money here, 3,500, right? 84, 84, 84. That's pretty heavy. For, for And then 78, look, 78, we just talked about that, right? 78, does that make sense? We just talked about that, 78 here, 5 gamma, and 106, 107. Does that make sense? 107. And But what's the downside? Is there downside? is like the 70 and the 68, 70. So this is just in case. So if you want to do like a like a ratio where it's like one put for three calls or something to protect yourself just in case, you could be covered because the cost is like 80 cents or 90 cents versus $3. So in case you're wrong, because we don't know, right? But you can trade into this area. The 78 to 79 is what I, I would say. And then you would do like a triple. 2.5 to 3x on your calls if it hit in the money based on that and then everything else. So that's where I would go for. But I wouldn't trade that one right now. The IV is pretty high. So you can go for like even the 79 for next week, right? I mean, it's up to you. I'm going to just say where the target is. You make your risk tolerance where you want it. And then you could go for the 80 here. So, and then if you want it, you can go like one protected, the short term. So that's how I would layer it out for the short term. One of them, depending on your tolerance. 
Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm also the session's recorded, so whoever um like missed this. Okay, so AMD based on ID. Okay, um, I'm just gonna say AMD targeting 7879 upside stronger is stronger. Recommending February 10 as IV is lower and continuation, right? But then you could just get that tomorrow too. I mean, this week's too, or longer time frame. And then just for the longer time frame, just go for if you're like, hey, Esther, like, which one, which one, which one, just go for 25 delta. 25 delta is always the expected move, right? So if you if you don't know which one to get, just look, delta, 25, get this one, 100. Lower the risk, right? But even if it moves $5, like, you're going to make some money. Okay, so that one's AMD. And then downside puts is 70. So downside, lower uh, OI, but uh, majority puts are at 70 put. I'm just going to give you the downside risk just in case. Okay, still going 404. 404 is my end of day target. Okay, NVIDIA is not going. What's going on with that? Okay, spot, oh, I pulled back or whatever. I shouldn't have done that one. Okay, Snap is still going up, right? I want to look at what Snap is doing again. Did I already mention Snap? Did I? Did I? No? AMD spot. Okay. I didn't go over Snap. It's a Snap. Is Spy still climbing? Okay, I have to keep my eye on this. Oh, hey. What a great call out. That was a good reversal there. MSGM, just keep at 18 as support. MSGM. So you see what I'm doing, right? It's just like very, like, I'm just very systematic in my trading. And if it doesn't work, then just get out. Don't ask me. You manage your risk. If you're making money on something and then it's going up, like scale out, take some profits. If you're tanking on something, scale out. Don't let it like deplete your account, right? I'm not your mom. <laughs> so you have to really like, I'm being hard on you because I'm like, you really have to learn. Okay, so snap, let's see what snap's gonna do. Snap, snap, snap. Okay, tomorrow. AMD, okay, we went over that. Oh, this is a good one too, match group, match.com. You know, like, have you been lonely? Do you need to have sex with someone? Then like, yeah, go to get, go. maybe we should trade match. Okay, so we'll look at match too. Snap, um, hey, we're, spies, are, spies like breaking out. All right, so let's go over snap and then match. Maybe there's some lonely people out there. Okay, so snap. Look, high IV again, right? This one, I picked this one because lower, lower IV. At that time, the price is almost the same. But now look. Okay, what is this price? 90, 1250, and then this is like 70. Okay. 133%. Still, same concept, right? Lowest IV. At the time before it went up yesterday was like what? It went up like almost a dollar, right? From like past one to two days. But they're still saying it's gonna have like a two dollar move. So that's the 1350, right? Remember when we were going over snap here? 1350, right? 13, 13, 1250. Okay. They switched it. Now it's at 1250. <laughs> what the heck? It was 13. Okay, yay! Spice breaking out, 404. It's headed there. It's four four. Okay, 
Let's see what they're saying. Okay, so this one, 404, 12, 12 calls. Yeah, there's mm, 11. Okay, now they're starting to add some more protection. 11.55, okay, so 14.50. So not more than 14, above 13. And this is used as, let me see why. Why is there the short? Long build up, long build up. Okay, short covering. They're covering their short. Why? Okay, so this is a short put, like a bull put, but then they're taking off their protection. So now it's saying, okay, it could go either way for this date, but for this date, okay, long build up. Again, it's a strangle. And for this date, it's more bullish, right? Short covering. Okay, they're buying back their short calls, right? So this is a good sign, but they still don't know which way it's going to go. So, right, they don't know which way. But clearly, when I showed you the open interest, it's definitely on the call side, right? Because you can see it on the put to call ratios under one. Make sense? Okay, market's bullish. This isn't moving anymore. Crap, I forgot to sell mine. Okay, this is pulling back a little bit. Okay, it better go up. Mm, four, four. Why is this here? It's not supposed to be fixed. Let's see what Meta and Apple are going to do, right? Actually, no, no. We're supposed to look at match. Are people getting hooked up? <laughs> okay, so match, match, match. Okay, they're not making that much money then. I guess a lot of people are starting to go out more, right? Versus keep my, finding people online versus like COVID when you can't go out. But Snap, they're starting to monetize, right? So this is why their monetization, like if you go to, I wanna show you something. Uh, okay, so we'll go to Snapchat. Mm, no, I don't want to use that. Mm, no, it's not. Oh, I have to log in. What? Okay, I don't have the corporate one. That sucks. There was one where uh, user generated content. No, social media user generated content. Facebook users. Instagram? No. Favorite? Is this it? 2021. They were showing this before, but they're not now. Okay, other major platforms. Okay, TikTok. That's Instagram and TikTok. Shoot. Okay, I'll find it later and then show you later. I don't want to waste too much time doing this. Okay, we're almost at 404, right? Why is that video moving? Bummer. Something is making this go up. Google? It may be Google, huh? Yeah, Google. Amazon? Amazon, we should, look, 103 today, it almost hit into ER range, 106, then 113, but I actually said like 122. <laughs> I'm gonna like load this one really heavy. Meta, meta, meta. Okay. Apple, if this breaks out, spy will just boop, like go up. So Apple, we need this to hit back into the 145. If this goes up a dollar, actually spy will break out back to 407. Okay. 
I want to see where Spice going. And then I have to check Meta. I mean, Match. Match.com. Actually, no, I don't like Match because I didn't like the revenue. Yeah, still 404. Maybe 405. In between 404, 405. Yeah, in between 404, it's going to go up like 50 cents in between here and then like pull back. But look, from here, right, 171, but then look, tomorrow's move, five points. Four, that's kind of big, five points and the end of the week, eight. That takes it back to what, 412? Four ten, like this is one something that you can like consider getting is if we like think it's gonna go up, right? So I'll just get it right now. Like maybe I'll just like have a placeholder so I can look at it. Why isn't this buying? Bye, bye, bye. I'm just gonna get one because it's like going up. Oh shoot, no, I can't do it on this account. Hold on. Oh no, I can't bite on that one. That's a dead account, by the way. I do so many small account challenges, so like I have to like keep trading my change my accounts. Okay, I got that for 10 as a placeholder, because that's gonna be the weekly max max move, right? That seven, eight points from now, 403 goes into 410, right? This one, 410. So if it keeps ripping and then continues, then we know, okay, we can load the 410. Uh, market's going up, market's going up. Cool, cool. Okay, we'll look at Apple. Where's Apple going? Where did you go? Where did my screen go? Oh, it's down here. <laughs> Oops. Yay, market's ripping. Okay. Uh, Google's really strong, huh? Narrow range, really tight range. See this revenue here? Revenue, quarter four, always jumps quarter four, right? Quarter four. So when the rates even get hiked, this revenue wipes out, like, and their share buybacks, wipes out all the rate hikes. So what the analysts are stupid, like, not mentioning is, like, every time there's a rate hike, it decreases their future PE, right? But then it, like, they weren't accounting into all the revenue that they're generating. It's like, how do idiots not know that? Like, they're like way older than me. That's how I think they're tricking everybody, <laughs> right? Like they should tell everybody like, hello, this company's making money. Like, okay, so 155, see this 148 pre-ER? So it's probably going to jump to that. And then after, it can jump even higher, right? Apple. So let's see what they're betting towards. Apple. So we can go search Apple and see what the naked ones are. And we'll see, okay, into this week expiration. And let's see where they put their money. 149. So don't look at the put. Look at the numbers only. Strikes. 157, right? What did I say was our target? 155, right? And then it's above. So this one, the short-term ones, like that's really close. These are the ones you have to watch out for. It's like saying, hey, guys, like it's going to go down maybe versus, okay, puts versus the ones deep in the money. It's like, okay, they don't know. 
volatility, but I'm going to buy shares with it just in case. So 143, 140, so we just have to see, okay, are these getting laid off? Like, are they starting to lay off Apple put protection? Because it looks like it's about to break out here. Google is actually really, really strong right now. Long short covering. Okay, short covering. Long build up. Short covering. Okay, long build up. Okay, so short term, they don't know. And these still, they don't know. They don't know. <laughs> like, nobody knows. It's going all the way, okay, out of the money into the 157, right? 157? Okay, hey. Is it going back up? Going back up? Yeah. Okay, it's going back up. We want we want this to break out above 195. MSGM, yay! Okay, spot's going back up too. Apple, is this gonna break out? This could possibly break up, but um forty two, like 144, 145, that's going to be ATR, by the way. It's kind of like losing some steam. Well, it's only 950, right? It's only been three hours. So we still have another three hours to go. Okay, I think that's good for now for the commentary, I guess. Um, I, I think it might chop around a little bit and then like push up really strong into the end of the day near 404.50. And then pull back maybe. What time is FOMC? And Snapchat, I still like it, but I might revisit it into the end of the day, depending how high it goes. Okay, bye.